a leader both feared and admired. Taking the reins after Britain granted Singapore self-rule in 1959, Lee Kuan Yew became the city-state's first prime minister and would remain so for 30 years. The authoritarian leader turned Singapore into one of Asia's wealthiest, safest and most stable societies. Under his leadership, both as premier and then as a government advisor, Singapore became a global trading hub. Mr. Lee uh, had put Singapore on the international stage. He gave the country a, uh, an influence and prominence globally that is uh, totally disproportionate to the country's size. A remarkable achievement, but at a price. Lee was criticised by his iron fist rule. He had little tolerance for opposition views, jailing some rivals for decades without trial and limiting freedom of the press to make sure he got his way. My motto in life is, if you have decided to do something, then do it well, or don't do it at all. Lee gave the state control over many aspects of its citizens' lives, an approach that's still the case today. Although now he's gone, Singaporeans may see some changes. I think certainly we will see uh, you know, a liberalisation in terms of individual freedoms, uh, in terms of how uh, state uh, individual citizen relations are conducted. For now though, Singapore is a nation in mourning. For the man who transformed it from a sleepy imperial enclave into an economic powerhouse.